Welcome back to the channel, guys. As you can see from the title of the video, this is my uh, newly purchased 2002 Ford Ranger. It's an XLT with a four liter automatic four x four. It, uh, I got it cheap. Runs and drives out okay, it needs a lot of love, but uh, let's go for a quick test drive and go over what all I think's wrong with it and what it's gonna need and what I'll be doing with it in the future. It is idling right now and it sounds really good it's nice and quiet you can tell there may or may not need some type of uh, spark plugs or maybe a wire that's ever so slightly lower on idle so i think it just needs a little just small things ignition wise but overall i mean pretty happy with this purchase our very first mod which almost every ford vintage they stretch and you see that slack i'm gonna throw just one zip tie around like right before the end of it you can see right between the that little silver part on the green top of the green right there just one zip tie get rid of that slack all right well i got two of them on there there's still a little bit of slack but definitely way way better so we have a total of uh 186,000, so pretty much 187 miles on this. You can see where the RPMs are at. It's got a slight dip and miss, but I think that's just spark plugs. There's, it's just way too quiet to be anything crazy. That's where the oil pressure lives at. It's not failed. Like some of these sensors are, uh, I see all the time on the gauge where that white line's past the low. And yeah, let's take it for a drive. Uh, I think I have bad U-joints or one of these shafts. So I don't know how well you guys will be able to hear, but we're going almost 35 miles per hour. I'm gonna let off. Almost like I'm on rumble strips. So I really think I got some bad U-joints. Try to go a little, a little higher and let off. Also, there's some uh, first gear hesitation. We're getting up to like 2,500 finally in a second. Third gear. See, I don't know if that's just, I'll have to check the transmission fluid once I get back home, have it all warmed up, but definitely a slight way delay between first and second. I don't know if it's just a solenoid egg replace, hopefully something easy. Maybe just a little transmission fluid, but other than the first to second, the rest of the gears are fine. The, the single is pretty responsive. Well, in the pail. Trans dipsticks hitting behind this hose. Looks to be full. Doesn't smell too bad, but definitely it's been there for a while, you can tell. Yeah. So we're operating on all of our transmission fluid. It's hard to capture it, but it's got a slight shake. One thing I didn't miss about these smaller trucks, it's definitely tighter working on stuff. Like you can't even really see. Well, you can kind of see a spark plug just uh, where they're going, but yeah, they're, they're tied in there. That EGR team's right in the way. But uh, I wish I had the wire for somebody out here to do uh, sit on the brake and gas. And almost like you're doing a burnout, but that's a good way to check the motor mounts, transmission mount. But uh, I'm going to do that. But 
Yeah, I already replaced this yesterday and added uh, my subwoofer to it. Uh, it cranks really long. I think it's just a fuel filter off the red where it can be a coolant sensor for some reason. But I mean, we're gonna start with the cheapest part and replace that and go from there. But it looks like somebody already did. I can actually see it from here. Kind of rules that out already. I don't know, maybe it's a fuel filter. I already took a look at that when I was underneath this thing in the creeper, and I think it'll be too bad. Was smacked by a deer. We'll have to go out to the junkyard and get some new doors whenever there's a sale. I'm not paying full price, I'm cheap. And we need a new seat. <laughs> it's pretty dirty in here. I mean, I cleaned it, but not thoroughly, but yeah, we need one of those too, but I'm trying to save my money and get out of the junkyard also. I mean, I'm trying to be cheap as possible with this truck. It's kind of where we're at with it. Yep, Walmart speaker. I think I spent 30 bucks on that. It's still going strong. But yeah. Also want to get these buttons at the junkyard. I mean, they still work. I actually used them and yeah, they'll, they'll still do the thing and the only lights we have on is the abs light which i think is for a one of the hub bearings but i'm gonna try and find somebody to read that and then the door jar obviously because there's something wrong with the door I'm, uh, there's a lot of youtube tricks on the way to fix that but these trucks have a lot of potential and a lot of whole lot of knowledge on youtube on how to fix these got a cool little square mirror I don't know if I like it or not. I think it's just an extension to, oh, it is. <laughs> All right. Well, that's better. I didn't know that was there. Oh, cool. Yeah, this is, uh, I'm gonna put this in the garage, but I definitely like that one better. I do need to clean it up and need to put a scent in here because it's an old truck, it smells musty. Get some black ice or whatever. But yeah, I'm gonna check for some codes never hurts Let's see what anything stored no stored anything pending nothing pending huh okay that's good I mean this truck I believe there's a check engine light bulb in it then because well there's no check engine light that one the bulbs out of it someone legit pulled it out but uh I mean that's always a good sign Okay, we'll end this video with a tour underneath the truck with a creeper, show some of the front end components that are worn out, and uh, just overall get a good idea of what's going on underneath there. All right, this is the front left of the truck. This uh, lower ball joint don't look too bad, but uh, get up to this hub, we're missing a bolt. Or are we at? Yeah, yeah, we are. Let's take a look. Yep, that's not good. And then die rod this is pretty bad probably shouldn't be driving this anymore uh upper control arm that boot is torn rip so upper control arm ball joint needs replaced surprisingly this sway bar in leaks not destroyed i don't know if i can even move this my hand though nope. gonna need a shock so I don't know if the hub's bad or not, but I'd have to do the method of checking it, but yeah, what's wrong with all that? Let's go down here, the other side, this tie-in rod boot, it's, it's gone, upper control arm looks, looks okay, that's a really weird design one, huh, I didn't know this like that. Yeah, this is the front half. I don't know. Looks like that rear pinion might be leaking on the front differential. So we'll have to dig into that before we start using the 4x4 four four and maybe replace the CO. That drive shaft is pretty, pretty rusty. Got our factory, all three of our factory cats. Very surprising. Uh, 
get a little further back here. It's like our uh, oil pan gas, it's got a little bit of fluid on it. Transmission got a little bit of fluid on it, but I mean, I don't think it really leaks anything too bad or too much. Frame looks it's surface rust. Not the grid, it's from somebody's been off road torsion bars, got a bunch of grass wrapped around it. Frame's not too bad from over here. Looks like we got a ground broke. Yeah, it definitely has its rust, but. Trying to move you guys along with me, sir. These tires aren't the greatest either, They're down to the wear markers. Yeah, I think, I don't know if you guys will be able to do it again, but I was able to get that drive shaft twisting around, but I guess I'd have to shut it off. But yeah, I had to do, do that crap to pull up the tank. The strap's broken, but I can get a new one and put it back up there. You can kind of hear this thing missing a little bit from the tailpipe. from a 89 Ranger. The center cap behind it had 89 on it. It's kind of weird, but yeah. Definitely, these wheels have definitely seen their better days. They're the tires. Those are actually in pretty good condition, but tires are kind of shot. But yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Um, I think we're gonna throw some money at this thing, not right away and not anytime soon, but eventually I think I think it's worth saving. It's not too bad. We just went over a bunch of stuff. It's it's all there. But uh stay tuned for more content. Peace guys.